Alrighty then, would you like to hear a story about some plants and zombies? Alrighty then. Pea shooter! Pea shooters are your first line of defense. They shoot peas at attacking zombies. Damage normal. How can a single plant grow? How can a single plant grow and shoot so many peas so quickly? Pea shooter says hard work, commitment, and a healthy, well balanced breakfast of sunlight and high fiber carbon dioxide make it all possible. Lovely. Sunflower essential to your planting production. Uh, some production normal sunflowers can't resist bouncing to the beat. What, which beat is that? Why, the life-giving jazzy rhythm of the earth itself, thumping at a frequency only the sunflower can hear. Yeah, yeah. Cherry bomb! Damage massive. Range all zombies in a medium area. Usage, single use, instant. Uh, I want to explode, says cherry number one. No, let's detonate instead, says his brother, cherry number two. After an intense consultation, they agree to explodinate. Lovely. Walnut. Toughness high. People wonder how I feel about getting constantly chewed on by zombies, says Walnut. What they don't realize is that my limited senses, all I can feel is a kind of tingling, like in the back, like a back rub. So, that whole time, he wasn't actually sad, he was just getting an intense back rub. Potato mine. Damage massive. Range all zombies in a small area. You should single unit, uh, single use delayed activation. Some folks say the potato mine is lazy, that, but, yeah, that he just leaves everything to the last minute. Potato Mine says nothing. He's too busy thinking about his investment strategy. He's an investor. Snoopy! Folks often tell the Snoopy how cool he is, or exhort him to chill out. They tell him to stay frosty. Snoopy just rolls his eyes. He's heard them all. Chomper! Chomper almost got a gig doing stunts for the Little Shop of Horrors, but it fell through when his agent uh, demanded too much on the front end. Chomper's not full of uh, resentful, though. He says it's just part of the business. Lovely. Repeater is fierce. He's from the streets. He doesn't take attitude from nobody, plant or zombie. He shoots peas uh, to keep people at a distance. Secretly, though, the repeater yearns for love. <gasps> He's so sensitive. He's that one guy from Family Guy, the mail clerk with a heart of gold. Kenneth. Uh, Snowy. Puff shroom. That's what it is. I sleeps during the day. I only recently became aware of the existence of zombies, says Puff shroom. Like many fungi, I just assumed that they were fairy tales or movie monsters. This whole experience has been a huge eye-opener for me. He's ignorant. Sunshroom. The Sunshroom hates sun. He hates it so much that when he builds it up in his system, he spits it out as fast as he can. He just won't abide, abide it. For him, sun is crass. I don't know what crass is. Fume Shroom. I was in a dead-end job, producing yeast spores for a bakery, says Fume Shroom. Then Puff Shroom, bless him. Tell me about this great opportunity, blasting zombies. I feel like I'm making a difference. Awesome. Gray Buster. Despite Gray Buster's fearsome appearance, he wants everyone to know that he loves kittens and spends his time off <laughs> volunteering at a local zombie rehabil rehabilitation center. It's just the right thing to do, he says. Oh, he is Jesus. Love him. Hypno Shroom. Zombies are friends, as a Hypno Shroom. The badly misunderstood creatures who play a vital role in our ecology. And we should do more. Wait, we can and should do more than bring them around to our way of thinking. Awesome. Scaredy Shroom. Who's there? Whispers Scaredy Shroom. Voice barely audible. Go away. I don't want to see anybody unless it's the man from the circus. What the hell? <laughs> Ice Shroom. Ice Shroom frowns because he's unhappy, or not because he's un not because he is unhappy or disapproves, but because of a childhood injury that left left his facial features paralyzed. And we've already read Doom Shroom. Lilypad. Lilypad never complains. Lilypad never wants to know what's going on. Put a plant on top of Lilypad, he won't say a thing. Does he Does he start having opinions or shocking secrets? Nobody knows. Lilypad keeps it all inside. Squash. I'm ready. Yells Squash. Let's do it. Put me in. Come on, there's nobody better. I'm your guy. Come on, what are you waiting for? I need this. His emotional state is tied to this. Three Peter. Three Peter likes reading, backgammon, and long periods in, of immobility in the park. Three Peter enjoys going to shows, particularly modern jazz. I'm just looking for that special someone, he says. Three Peter's favorite number is five. Ironic. Mutant. No, not him. Tangle Kelp. I'm totally invisible. Hey! Tangle Kelp thinks to himself, I'll just hide here below the surface. Nobody will see me. His friends tell him that they can see him perfectly well, but he'll never change. Okay. Jalapeno! Says Jalapeno. But he's not going to explode. But soon. Oh, so soon. It's close. He knows it. He can feel it. His whole life's been leading up to this moment.
He's crazy. Spike Weed. Hockey is Spike Weed's obsession. He got box seat uh, season tickets. He keeps close track of his favorite players. He constantly cleans up in the office hockey pool. Wait, in the office hockey pool. Just one problem. He's terrified of pucks. No! Irony. Torchwood. Uh, everybody likes and respects Torchwood. They like him for his integrity, his steadfast fresh, fr uh, fresh freshmanship, friendship, his ability to greatly maximize P damage. But Torchwood has a secret. He cannot read. <gasps> Tallnut. People wonder if there's a rivalry, rivalry between Walnut and Tallnut. Tallnut laughs, a rich baritone laugh. How could any? How could there be anything between us? We are brothers. If you knew Walnut, if you knew what Walnut had done for me, uh. Tallnut's voice trails off, and he smiles acknowledgingly. So Walnut saved Tallnut's life, apparently. Sea Shroom. Sea Shroom has never been to been to the sea. It's in his name. He's heard loads about it, but he just never found the time. One day, though, it'll go down. <laughs> Plantern. Plantern defies science. He does. He just does. The other plants eat and eat light and exert oxygen. Uh, Plantern eats darkness and excretes light. Plantern's cagey about how he does it. I'm not going to say it's sorcery, but I wouldn't use the term for dark forces. I just... I think we've said enough. Cactus. She's prickly, sure, but Cactus Spikes... Derail a spongy heart filled with love and goodwill. She wants to hug and be hugged. Most folks can't hang that, but Cactus doesn't mind. She's been seeing an armadillo for a while, and it seems to really be working out. Oh. Blover. When Blover was five, he got a shiny new birthday cake. It was a lie. Blover made his wish, huffed and puffed, but and uh, he was able to only extinguish 60% of the candles. Instead of giving up, he used that early defeat as a catalyst to push himself harder ever since. Split P. Yeah, I'm a Gemini, says Split P. I know, it's a big surprise, but having two heads, or really, one, one head with a large head like growth growing off my back, pays off big in my line of work. Whatever. Starfruit. Paupu fruit. Oh man, says Starfruit. I went to the dentist the other day, and he said I have four cavities. I've got, count it, one tooth. Four cavities and one tooth. How the hell does that happen? Oh. Pumpkin. Pumpkin hasn't heard from his cousin <laughs> Reinfeld lately. Apparently, Reinfeld's a big star. Kind of, uh, what is it? Sports hero? Peggle, man Peggle master? Pumpkin doesn't really get it. He just does his job. Fair enough. Magnet Shroom. Magnet Shroom is a powerful force. Very powerful. Sometimes it scares Magnet Shroom a little, but he's not sure if he can handle that kind of responsibility. Huh. Cabbage Bolt. Uh, Cabbage Bolt is okay with launching cabbages at zombies. It's what he's paid for, after all, and he's good at it. He doesn't understand how the zombies get up on the roof in the first place. Neither do I! I said that the first time. Uh, flower pot. I'm a pot for planting, yet I'm also a plant. Has your mind exploded yet? Oh my god. Colonel Polt. Colonel Pelt is the eldest of the Polt brothers. Of the three of them, Colonel Polt is the only one who constantly remembers the other's birthdays. It bugs him about- he bugs- wait. He bugs them about that a little too. Okay, fair enough. Coffee Bean, he's floating. Oh my god. Hey guys, hey, says Coffee Bean. Hey, what's up? Hey, who? Uh, uh, did you see that thing? That thing? Whoa, lions! Yeah, Coffee Bean sure does get excited. Oh my god. <gasps> garlic. Lane diversion isn't just Garlic's profession, it's his passion. He carries an advanced doctorate in redirection from Brussels University. He talks all day about lane vectors and repulsor rays. He even pushes things into alternate avenues at home. Somehow, his wife puts up with it because he's adorable. Umbrella Leaf. Sproing, says Umbrella Leaf. Did you like that? I can do it again. Sproing. Woo! That's me popping up to protect, yeah, protect around your stuff. Yeah, just like that. Exactly like that. Believe it. Oh god, it's Naruto. Marigold. Marigold spends a lot of time deciding whether to split out a silver coin or a gold coin. She thinks about it, weighs the angles, does a solid research, and keeps up with current pub publications. That's how winners stay ahead. Yeah, yeah. Melon Pult. There's no false mon modesty about Melon Pult. Son, for damage, I deliver the best punch on your lawn, he says. I'm not bragging. Run the numbers. You'll see. Ooh, hold on. Let's go back and buy another plant. Uh, eh, let's get this guy. Sure. Can I get anything else? Ooh, I can get that guy. Okay, uh, let's go back. Almanac. View plants. Okay, so we did that. Now let's read these other guys. Gatling P. Gatling P's parents were concerned when he announced that his intention to join the military. But honey, it's so dangerous, they said in unison. Gatling P refused to budge. Life's dangerous, he replied, his eyes glinting with steely conviction. Uh. 
Twin Sunflower, it was a crazed night of forbidden science that brought Twin Sunflower into existence. Thunder crashed overhead, strange light flickered, even the very roaring of the wind seemed to hiss in angry denial, but to no avail. Twin Sunflower was alive! Alive! Gloom Shroom. Must be planted on top of fume shrooms. I've always enjoyed releasing heavy fumes, says Gloom Shroom. I know a lot of people aren't cool with that. They say it's rude or that it smells bad. All I can say is, would you rather have your brain eaten by zombies? No. Very true. Gold Magnet. How did I end up here? Asked Gold Magnet. I was on a fast track. Corner office. Full benefits. Stock options. I was going to be vice president of Midwestern operations. Now I'm here in this lawn. In serious, in serious danger of being eaten to death. Ooh, a coin. Yeah. And finally, Cobb Cannon. What's the deal with Cobb Cannon anyway? He went to Harvard. He practices law in prestigious New York firm. He can explode whole areas of zombies at, with a single corn lodge. All this is common knowledge, but deep inside, what really makes him tick? And that's all the plants I'm going to show you guys. Now, let's go on to the zombies, because they have their own say. Let's see what they say. There's not that many of them. And we did miss this guy. This guy is a yeti zombie that you can barely see, whatever. Regular zombie. The zombie loves brains. He can't get never brains. Brains, brains, brains. Day in, day... Day in and night out. Stinky old brains, rotten old brains, brains clearly past their prime, doesn't matter, regular zombie wants to eat them. Tasty. Flag zombie, no mistake, flag zombie loves brains, but somewhere down the line he also picked up a fascination with flags. Maybe it's because flags have always had brains on them, hard to say. Conehead zombie, conehead zombie shuffled mindlessly forward like every other zombie, but something made him stop and pick up a traffic cone and stick it on his head. Oh yeah, and he likes to party. Awesome. Pole vaulting zombie, I call them Olympic zombie, whatever. Uh, some zombies prefer to take it further, aspire more, push themselves beyond the normal into greatness. That's pole vaulting zombie right there. This is also him. Buckethead zombie. Buckethead zombie always wore a bucket. Part of it was to assert his uniqueness in an uncaring world. Mostly he just forgot it was there in the first place. Derp. Newspaper zombie. Newspaper zombie was this close to finishing that his Sudoku puzzle. No wonder he's freaking out. Oh my god, I almost finished that Sudoku and you broke it up. Sure. Screen door zombie. His screen door. He got his screen door from the last expertly, uh, inexorably, no, inexpertly defended home he visited after he ate the homeowner's brains. Yikes. Football zombie. Football zombie gives 110% whenever he's on the field. He's a team player who delivers both offensively and defense, defensively. He has no idea what a football is. Retard. Dancing Zombie. Dancing Zombie's latest album, Brains, is already rocking up the M Dead charts. Backup Dancer. Backup Dancer Zombie spent, spent six years at his. Wait. Spent six years performing his art at the Cleward Performing Arts School in Zombie New York City. Oh, God. Zombie New York City? Ducky Tube Zombie. It takes a certain kind of zombie to be a ducky tuber. Not every zombie can handle it. Some crack, some can't take it. They walk away and give up on brains forever. Snorkel zombie, I hate you. S uh, zombies don't breathe, they don't need air. So why does snorkel zombie need a snorkel to swim underwater? Answer, peer pressure. Oh my god. Zomboni, often mistaken for a zombie driving an ice machine, Zomboni is totally a different life form, more closely related to a space ogre than a zombie. What the hell? Uh, zombie bobsled team. Zombie bobsled team work hard to get where they are. They live together, eat brains together, and train together to become a colossal zombie unit. I know they suck. Dolphin rider zombie. Uh, duh, 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 duh. dolphin rider zombie. Blah blah blah. Toughness special. Only appears in the pool. The dolphin is also a zombie. I knew that. Jack in the box zombie. This zombie shivers because not because he's cold, but because he's crazy. I assumed that. Balloon zombie. Balloon zombie really lucked out. The, the balloon thing really works. None of the other zombies have picked it up. Haha. -ha. Digger zombie. Digger zombie spends three days a week getting his excavation permits in order. Okay. Really? You need to do that every week? Pogo zombie. Sproing, sproing, sproing. That's the sound of a powerful and effective zombie doing what he does best. Yeti zombie. Rarely seen. Blah, blah, blah. Bungie zombie. Bungie zombie loves to take risks. After all, what's the point of being dead if you can't live a little? Ladder zombie. No, he's Tim Allen zombie. Uh, picked up the ladder for eight ninety nine. Lovely. Catapult zombie. He's so fat. Uh, of all the things catapult zombie could launch with his catapult, basketball seemed like the best and most obvious choice. Eh, true. Gigantor. When Gigantor walks, the earth trembles. When he moans, other zombies fall silent. He is the zombie that other zombies dream they could be, but he still can't find a girlfriend. What do you call that thing riding on your back? Imp! 
It may be small, but he's wiry. He's proficient in zombie judo, to zombie karate, and also zombie bare knuckle brawling. He also plays the plays the medo medlokia. I don't know what that is. And finally, Doctor Zomboss. I call him Doctor Zombrain, but whatever. Edgar George Zomboss achieved his doctorate in thanatology in only two years, quickly mastering the thanatological technology, whatever the fuck that is. He built his fearsome Zombot and is set and set about establishing absolute dominance of his local subdivision. Huh, interesting. Your robot's kind of moving awkwardly there, Dr. Zombrain. Okay, guys, so... That's pretty much it. We've seen the almanac. We've seen all the shop has to offer. Just more plants and stuff. And... A lot of stuff for your Zen Garden, Tree of Wisdom, all that good stuff. You can buy 10 extra seats, or you can buy 10 more seat slots, whatever. You can get a gold trophy, and that means you completely beat the whole game. 100%. But I'm not into that stuff. We've spent our time here in Plants vs. Zombie Land. We might come back and do some more stuff in a later date, but that's pretty much it. You've seen all that this game has to offer. So, until then, guys, until our next video brings us together in unison... I've been the Invisible Gunslinger. You have been my very kind audience. Thank you so much for staying with me and watching this whole thing if you have. I'll probably be playing some Pokemon and maybe some Minecraft and probably might even be starting a new project. Next weekend I will be going over to um, Assassin's House and we shall finish up Portal and maybe even start up another thing over there. But I don't know. For right now, I'm glad to check this off. This has been a very fun game, a very inspirational little game. I'm very glad that I got the opportunity to play it. Thank you, XClickZM, by the way, for um, giving me this game. He lent, he he gave me it on my flash drive, and I brought it home, and it was awesome. You can get this game, I think Game of the Year, only like 8 bucks on Steam. I don't know what the difference is between this and Game of the Year Edition. And it's on Steam, so you can get achievements and all that good stuff. Uh, but for right now, guys, I'm the Invisible Gunslinger. You guys have been my great audience, and I shall see you next time on whatever the hell I'm doing. So until then, guys, see you later.